obviously uh, you didn't qualify and buy an Aston. What was your oh, no. first car? What's the car journey my, been like? So my first car was a Renault 14. Okay. A white thing that um, it's a 1.4 <laughs> uh, ugly white thing. Yeah. And eventually what happened, the clutch went. <laughs> um, and then I got the clutch temporarily repaired and drove it around for a while like that. Um, so no, I didn't actually buy what I would consider to be a really nice car um, until I was about 10 years qualified. Yeah. And I had a Honda Prelude. Oh, they were nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think, was it the first generation with the sort of triple lights at the front? Was it the pop-up lights? No, it was the first generation. Um, and it looked like a wolf from the front. It was that, really cool. That was um, a good looking car. Yeah, it was what, a really what nice What year car. was that? Let me think, I think. Because I think that came out in the 90s before. Yeah, it was mid-90s, maybe 95, 96. So the MR2 came out, the That's Honda right. Prelude. That's right. Uh, the Civic. Correct, exactly. And, and it was, and it was jet lag. And Mitsubishi 3000. Japan had a real resurgence of sports cars. They did, and I liked all of them. Yeah. Um, and the one, but the one that you know that I fell for was the Prelude, and um, I loved that. Oh, car. I had that dash with the digital dash across. That's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. But it looks, it looked awful from behind. It looks <laughs> beautiful from the front. I like the back. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so I loved that car. It was great, and it had a bit of bit of go. Um, but it was, you know, it was a two point two liter engine. Um, then I went traveling, yeah. so all the money went on that, and then it took me a while to build back up. So it wasn't until I was 30, and my goal was 30, yeah. um, that I bought my first 911. And which which gen was that? So it was 996. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. although, you know, I, I spent um, years jealously staring at the 993s, the air-cooled yeah. ones. I really wanted one of those, but I just couldn't afford prettier. them. The 996 had the funny lights. It did, but I but waited, it handled brilliantly. It, exactly, and yeah. I waited until the second gen, and I got a C4S convertible, uh, so a cabriolet, a white bodied. Yeah, yeah, and it was black. So then I had a, I went, I went down to a 997 turbo. 997 turbo, what color? Yeah, it was silver, so uh, Arctic that, silver. That, that had a PDK or no, PDK? no, it was manual. Oh, it was a manual, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. manual turbo 997 silver. Yeah. So that was a bit of a that was a bit of a jump, wasn't it? Oh my it? goodness, that car speed quick. wise. Absolutely, it was immense. Um, and then I decided I wanted to build a spec one factory collect, and so I ordered a 997 turbo cab and uh, went over to Germany with my father as a special oh, treat. And, amazing. And the uh, factory picked it up and, and brought it home again. Manual, drove it back from Stuttgart. Drove it back from Stuttgart. And yeah, that was amazing, an amazing trip. And my father was a rally driver, so that's what I was gonna say. Is that yeah. where the love of driving comes from? Yeah, yeah. He was a sportsman all around, but he was in a an, an amateur privateer rally driver. And so when I was a child, I mean, this is when the, the 911 came into rallying and road rallying. And my best friend's dad was a championship rally driver. He won nine international rallies in 911s. Uh, in fact, wow. yeah, in one car. Uh, in fact, the car that he drove. Um, still one of Porsche's most successful cars. Um, so I was absolutely besotted with 911s as a young young boy. We used to be, you know, sitting hedges watching rally cars and my, when I was a kid. And, and so that's where the love of cars came from. So I had to take my dad on so, that trip. Yeah. He loved it, he absolutely loved it. So a couple of Porsches, your dad doing the rallying in the Porsches, uh, the Honda, yeah. the, the Renault Banger, yeah. and then uh, the Aston. And, what do you, and nowadays, I suppose practicality has to pay a part with uh, dogs and kids and stuff. And yeah. So you've got a, have you got a run around as well? Yeah. So I've got a, a little a little Citroen that I take to the station because I'm I commute into London most of the time. So that's just a, a little contract car car that gets me up and down the hill. Um, I had a Land Rover Defender, which is one of my favourite cars oh. because we live in the heart of the countryside. Um, we've got a Discovery because we've got the two kids and the dog and the cat and. Um, the seven seater was important. Grandparents visiting, uh, and has that been good? Yeah, I mean, I've always loved Range Rovers and Land Rovers. I've had lots of them over the years. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's the sort of the everyday car. Um, and, and talk about sort of the uh, greenhouse gases and electric. When you see a car like that, that's been probably forty years old. Yeah. I mean, how much more recycling do you want? <laughs> <laughs> 